Hello and welcome. Welcome to uh, today's session. Uh, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm calling from Toronto, Canada. So if you could just add in the chat box uh, where you're from. I presume people will be coming in as we go. Uh, this is a very exciting session today because uh, it's an introduction to the upcoming MOOC, Moodle MOOC, which is quite different from any other <laughs> MOOC that I've done or that I've heard of. It's uh, Moodle MOOC number two. And what's exciting about it is that it's not only about the MOOC as uh, it's not only about Moodle, but it's a combination of the two and something else. And that's what is exciting. All right, so we've got Michelle. Welcome, Michelle from France. We've got Winnipeg. I hope the weather is still good there. Manitoba, Canada. What a minute, Winnipeg and Manitoba? That's kind of confusing. Winnipeg. Right. And um, we've got Greece and Paraguay. So we've got North America, South America, Europe. All right. Anybody from uh, the Far East or from any of the islands. Okay, people are going to be coming in as we go, but of course this is being recorded. It's going to appear with the same link that you use to get here. That's the uh, recording link. And um, I'm also recording this through Camtasia and it'll be uploaded to YouTube. And uh, the participants are not in. It's just my voice. And um, I'll get my webcam in, in as well, but your names will not appear. All right, so that's for anyone who's concerned about their names appearing on YouTube. Before we get started, um, any comments, questions? Feel free to use the chat box for that at any time. We've got New York City. All right, the uh, current Moodle MOOC, but uh, before I get started, I want to share. Oh, we've got German, Nigeria, we've got Africa. Wonderful. All right, so that makes it perfect. We've got just about everything. I'm going to share a, two links here. I'm going to share a link from Google Drive for the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so uh, let me add that to the chat. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, there it is. That's the Google Drive for the PowerPoint presentation that you're going to view. I'm also going to share another place where you can actually also download. You can also download it from uh, the WizIQ. Okay, there's the other link. Okay, so if for any reason you want to review this, and get the live hyperlinked words because on the whiteboard the PowerPoint presentation does not allow you to click anywhere and get the live links but in the two tutorials that I shared with you you'll be able to get the links. Okay so we've got Mexico to Central America. All right great. Okay so let's go to the first slide. All right, so the Moodle MOOC is uh, in one month, but as I just mentioned today to a uh, organizer and participant of a Moodle uh, administrator course, uh, there are problems 
and sometimes participants cannot complete a course within the time. So in this case, it's one month. Uh, things happen, okay? Uh, I don't know if you heard about Nairobi and the uh, mall and the killings, the shootings that took place there, but some of the students uh, were taking a course, not the ones that were hurt, but everybody's involved when it comes to tragedies. So um, I decided to extend the course indefinitely until everybody completes the course. So that's generally my policy uh, for online courses. You complete it when you complete it. Okay, so you're able, if, you know, if you're not able to complete the course in one month, uh, you'll have a chance to complete it whenever. Just let me know so that I can provide you with whatever you need to complete the course. So the course uh, will be finished when you finish it, all right? So it's one month, but it's up to you how you work. Uh, the course will involve active learning, which means uh, that you'll be doing, okay? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's the only way to learn. You can't learn to swim by learning about it. You need to get into the pool and practice the different strokes and different skills in order to swim. Same thing with any kind of learning. You need to do something in order to sustain learning. So it's active learning. You will be involved in watching videos, listening to the sounds, listening to what's out there, and also to yourself, which is really important. When I say watching videos, it'll be also watching yourself as you work and listening to the audio and also uh, listening to yourself. You'll be reflecting and you'll be doing this uh, on blogs or wikis. It's up to you where you reflect. And what's different about this MOOC is the transpersonal aspect. And I'll be talking about transpersonal development. Transfer Personal development is a holistic view of the learner. And since you're the learner, it's about personal development. And uh, I've got two books here that you might find interesting. One is called Teaching and Leading from Inside Out. Okay, it's by Judy F. Carr. I'll write the name of the book, but I'll be talking about it during the presentations, Teaching and Leading. Okay, you'll find it online. And from the inside out, in other words, from within to whatever is out there, instead of the other way around. So active learning, as I said, is about doing, and reflecting is one way of doing. Creating videos is another way of doing. Any other ways that you can think of where the learning comes through some kind of activities. So we learn by doing. Can you think of um, some ways that you have done that? Hello, Thomas. Uh, so Thomas, I think, knows quite a bit about active learning. And I think one of the ways that you uh, do it, Thomas, is through images, creating images, finding images, you know, Doing things with images is a great way to learn. For another example is chatting. I use the chat box in live online classes to learn. That's my one way of, that I learn. I share resources, links, and so on. Anyone else think of ways of active learning? Besides videos, creating videos. Hands-on. Very good, Gloria. But when you say hands-on, what exactly do you mean? Can you think of a specific hands-on activity? Hello, Halima. It's doing. Definitely doing. But what kind of things? Well, reflecting, writing about it. Very good, Karen. Uh, peer assessment. Assessments in general. Evaluating yourself. Evaluating others. Uh, in ways that only help. Of course, you don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable when you're evaluating them. All right, so it's doing something with the content, either talking about it, sharing information, going beyond uh, the content, but doing something. 
Well, you'll be learning about Moodle 2.5. And uh, the website is moodleforteachers.org. OK, I'll be sharing that with you, moodleforteachers.org. That's the, uh, the website. You'll be getting creating an account there. OK, some of you may already have an account there. OK, that's where um, I do my Moodle Moots. I think I, I don't know if that's going to work because I see that the M is capitalized, but um, that should work too. Let's see if that if that was a problem. All right, so you'll be learning about Moodle 2.5. So there are two things here. There's the personal development, and there's also uh, a Moodle course, 2.5 course for beginners and non-beginners. I didn't want to write advanced or uh, experienced teachers like I had before. Hello, Nisha. So I decided to uh, call the participants beginners and non-beginners. And it's up to you to decide whether you feel you're a beginner or a non-beginner. Beginners, of course, are people who have never, ever uh, given a course using uh, Moodle. Those are the beginners, and everybody else is a non-beginner. And this is the other area. Okay, there are two areas. One is the Moodle website, the Moodle for Teachers, and the other one is WizIQ. Now, WizIQ is divided into two areas. One is the live online classes, where you are right now. This is a WizIQ. No sound. Oh, I see the sound going up and down, so I know there is sound. Nisha, you'll have to uh, contact uh, support. Okay, I'll just add this. For anybody else who has sound issues, support will help them. Help them. Okay. Um, and um, the other one is the course management system. <laughs> Hello, Norbert. Good to see you. I'm so happy to see you here. So, the WizIQ courses have two areas as well. One is the courseware, and one is the course feed. Courseware has the live online classes, and the classes are either the upcoming classes, the link for the upcoming classes, or the same link will take you to the recordings once the class is over. The other section in the Courseware are the tutorials. By tutorials, we mean PowerPoint presentations, YouTube videos. YouTube videos can be embedded. Files. Now they're PDF files, Microsoft. Okay, files that's uh, Word documents, PowerPoint, and others. Audio files and video files. Okay, separately. These will appear under courseware, and that's where you're going to get a chance to uh, get them. In addition, there's the course feed. The course feed consists of discussions. And what's interesting here on WizIQ is that the discussions are under the courseware as well. So you can have a place for discussions under each of the upcoming classes and the past recordings, as well as under each of the tutorials. So under the link that I shared with you, let me share it again. Under that link, you'll have a place to have a discussion, add your comments, ask questions, and so on. Any questions so far? Sound is breaking up. Well, it looks perfect to me. I'm looking at the uh, bar, Thomas, and the sound is going up and down just perfectly. So uh, you'll have to uh, check your area and see why um, it's not working properly. Okay, you may have to, uh, yeah, I can see that everything is working perfectly. Uh, you may have to check your area and see what's, uh, you may want to also uh, disable the uh, webcam. Oh, it came. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. I'm glad it came. All right. So, uh, any other questions, uh, not technical questions, but other questions, feel free to uh, add them to the chat.
Okay, videos. You'll have a chance to uh, create videos, but also watch videos. And uh, through YouTube, those of you who are shy and uh, do not want to um, upload your video to YouTube, you can do that on WizIQ. You can add your video as a file to WizIQ. It can't be too long, uh, but I think that I've managed to get some pretty long video files to WizIQ. In fact, you can share everything on WizIQ these days. Okay, so you've got any kind of file, you simply share it on your account, and then you can share that with a course. And in this case, it's uh, the Moodle. Uh, Ermolin, you ask, when do we connect to the link? I'm not sure which link, but the link that I just shared right now is just um, a tutorial. See in the middle, it says tutorial. If you're asking about the course, you can join the course right now. Okay, you can join the course at any time, and I'll get to that in a minute. On WizIQ, you'll get the recordings. Now, I want to say this a few times uh, so that you realize you don't have to download anything. That's what's good about WizIQ as opposed to live classes as opposed to other uh, programs. No downloads. Okay, I'll say this again. No downloads. And I'm sure that uh, my dear friend Style is probably... Uh, smiling but no downloads are necessary okay there is a link and you simply view that link and i'm going to do that right now i'm going to share a link with you to this particular class okay here's the link now you're in the class right now but when the class ends you'll be able to go into the same link click on it and get the recordings no download Okay, it'll be orange once the recording is available and you'll be able to uh, view it. Okay, not download, just view it. Next, listen. I mentioned listening. You'll be learning to listen to others as well as to yourself. Listening to ourselves is uh, a skill that we develop once we do it. One way of, uh, you'll be learning about it. Uh, from the presenters. There are currently about 12 presentations, and um, I'll take you to those presentations right now. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Thomas. Exactly. Why would anybody want to download anything to their system? You know, after all, it's, it's really, really uh, hard on our system. And if WizIQ is uh, good enough to take it on their own servers, you know, why fight? You know, we don't need to download. You know, it's like we're used to printing things, and, and it's very difficult for us not to print things. I think it's the same thing here. We, we need to get used to uh, doing things easily and not making our lives difficult. I'm going to be screen sharing right now, so let me take you to... Um, and it may take you a few seconds, so I apologize, uh, for you to view what I view. Okay, so I'm going to take you to a syllabus, okay, and I'm going to share this syllabus with you because a syllabus has everything in it. Okay, so I just took the, uh, there's a syllabus, and if you click on the table of contents, first of all, you've got the course. This is the course link. You click on it and you'll get it. And then you have the table of contents. And if you go down to invited guests, okay, you click just like I am, you get a list of the invited guests. There are 12 right now. There may be more. I hope not less. And these, if you click on the links, you'll be able to get information about these people. These people are not only educators and leaders as teachers, but they practice what we call self-reflection. They do a lot of self-reflections. Cheryl is involved in uh, programs for teachers. May May is involved in uh, coaching and yoga. She's a yoga instructor. Uh, Dr. Dean... Radden, I don't know if you've heard of him, 
but he's involved in, oh, I think I just lost my internet connection. Sorry about that. It should be back. Um, Dean Radden is involved in also, he's a physicist and a psychologist, a little bit of information about him. If you go into each of these, he was in a movie called What the Bleep? Okay, and he talks about, well, actually, he, he works for an organization where he conducts research on how the mind has more control than we realize. We can actually do a lot with our thoughts if we do things right, and this, he will prove it, and he'll be talking about that. So, um, all of these people, let me go back to the list, all of these people are actually involved in transpersonal development. Okay, um, and you'll have a chance to go into each of the live sessions. If you click on them, you'll be able to go into each of the sessions. Okay, this is all on the uh, syllabus for the course. Okay, so uh, there it is. There's also a YouTube video playlist where you'd be able to get all the YouTube videos, so you can join that right now. In addition, let me go back. You'll uh, see the two sites. Okay, it's beginning October 1st, but you'll be able to access it right now. Uh, access the course through uh, WizIQ. As I said, there are two areas. One is WizIQ. Here is a live class. And um, the course, there's the courseware that I was telling you about. Okay, in the courseware you'll have okay tutorials as well as the live classes. Okay, these are and you'll see classes, tutorials. You're able to see that. Classes and tutorials. In addition, you can connect with the other learners if you're interested in that. Okay, you're able to do that on your account. In addition, you'll be able to start a discussion right here. So I'm going to start one by saying, please introduce your introduce yourself and share your interest in Moodle and transpersonal development since the two are combined. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to post that so you'll have a chance to, if you don't know much about transpersonal development, you'll have a chance to learn about it. Uh, there's a great, let me just go back to class, there's a wonderful here. That's okay, William, good to see you. There's the link, there's the link uh, to, yes, I was screen sharing, but then it stopped for some reason. Uh, there it is. There's the link to the uh, syllabus for the course. Let me go back to uh, screen sharing. It stopped for a second there. Okay, I'm back to screen sharing. You should be able to see it. There I am. Nope. Let me try again. Okay, here we are. So let me take you back to um, a... Uh, okay, let me just find it here. Uh, oh, it keeps throwing me back. Okay, so I won't screen share. I'll stop screen sharing because it seems to be uh, giving me problems here. But I want to share with you an article that I think you'll find interesting. It's Educating More in Holistic Transpersonal high, in Higher Education. This is definitely for adults. So let me share the link with you. All right, so there it is. So you might want to learn a little bit about transpersonal development. There it is. It's a PDF file, and I think you'll enjoy that. All right, so let me continue on to the next. So listening and reflecting both within yourself and uh, to others. And again, here's the book for those who may have uh, missed it. 
Okay, I hope you can see it. It's called Teaching and Leading from the Inside Out. The idea of this MOOC is everything from the inside out and not the other way around, not from the outside in, but from the inside. Okay, so we start from within and then we work our way to towards catering to our students. The reflections will be through blogs or wikis, whatever your choice is. By the way, how many of you uh, prefer a blog? Write blog. If you prefer a wiki, write wiki. So what is your preference? Wikis or blogs? I, I'm still debating. Both. Nice, Maria. Wonderful. That's a good answer. Both. Mohammed. Uh, no, it's Mohanad. Also. And Jennifer uses both as well. Awesome. All right. So Nisha prefers blogs, and I'm glad you can hear me now. Okay. Um, give them both a chance so you really know. Transpersonal. This is where it comes in. I just happen to be wearing the same color. Um, I didn't intend it to happen this way, but it's interesting. All right, so um, as far as transpersonal, trans means transformation. It's going from one uh, form to another, and that's exactly what transpersonal, and the personal is a very big part of it. Um, it's changing the person within, or at least working with a person. And um, you'll be learning about leading from the inside out. And teachers are all leaders, but everybody's a leader when it comes to life. Because you want to lead your life. And it's very difficult to lead somebody else's life unless you are very focused on your own first. Okay, we all like to give advice, uh, you know, every, each one of us. And we think we're doing somebody else a favor. But you can't really be in somebody else's shoes and know what's going on fully, okay? So uh, we really have to watch out with advice. But the idea is, first of all, to lead ourselves and then move on to helping others. Self-reflection is part of it. It's about the whole person learning. It's not just, uh, you know, learning for tests, but it's, it's the whole being. It's your whole being. And when you say you're passionate about learning, which most teachers are because the whole person is involved every part of you and we'll talk about the different parts most as I said the presentations will deal with transpersonal uh, the speakers are all involved in transpersonal whether they know it or not you may be involved too and you never heard the term so actually as teachers maybe you are involved in transpersonal development without knowing it it's also going to be about authenticity. Transpersonal development involves being you. And that's one of the hardest questions. Who are we? Who am I? Okay, who am I really? I mean, you know, it's, it's a tough question, but something that I believe uh, would benefit each one of us as we learn to, about ourselves. And of course, mindfulness. Mindfulness means that we spend time listening to ourselves without judging ourselves, giving us uh, time, which we don't have much time these days to give ourselves, but it's giving us a, ourselves a chance. It Transpersonal involves, as I said, transformation, some kind of change. And if you think about learning, that's what learning is about. As teachers, we want our students to go from one area to another. And it's experiential. Okay, it means involving experiences, doing and experiencing. And of course, it's very, very personal. Are there any questions um, up to here? This is just uh, transpersonal in a nutshell. You'll be learning a lot more about it through the 12 presentations. Okay, there are 12 presentations. Okay, feel free to ask questions as we go, add your comments and so on. I'm sorry, Thomas. I'm sorry the connection is not good. All right, thank you. 
All right, and this is something, Thomas, before you go, you can read it at least. This was uh, written by Carl Jung, and what he says is, he who looks outside dreams. He who looks inside awakens. And that's what mindfulness and uh, many of the transpersonal development ideas, developing as a person, involves. And think about yourselves as you learn, as you, you know, as we daydream and, and think about plans and plans, we plan what we're going to do tomorrow. You know, my father's 91 years old, but he's planning to go, he's, he's written a book, but he needs to add some photos and it's getting published soon. So he says, well, he has to go to Budapest to take care of things and 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 the book that he's publishing so he i said dad what are you doing he says i'm planning isn't it great to plan your mother and i have always planned and you know and i didn't know what to tell him but um, that's dreaming okay um we need to really go inside and see what's happening and it's good to plan it's nice but the question is what are we getting out of it Okay, so how do we get started? Okay, you may ask. Well, first of all, you need to join the WizIQ course. Okay, so anybody have the WizIQ course at their fingertips? If not, I will get it for you. Okay, the WizIQ course link is right here in the syllabus that I shared with you. So let's see who's fast on the draw, who can get that quickly enough. I'm getting it myself. All right. So um, 90. Yeah, yeah he is. He, he looks, <laughs> no, he looks like he's about 70, maybe younger. Um, so, um, and he's bored. He wants his laptop and, and there's no, um, there's no um, wireless where he is right now, so he's pretty bored. Okay, so there's the link. You join that course, and then you're going to create an account on the Moodle. Because okay, I said it's Moodle for teachers, so let me get that uh, link for you so that you can sign up now, or uh, you can sign up. I had the link here somewhere. Um, so you can sign up for the, uh, here it is, there is the link sign up on the Moodle. And as I said, there are two uh, courses, one for beginners and one for non-beginners. If you're not sure, you can always discuss this in the course feed in the WizIQ course. Ah, Henderson, William. Well, Moodle, M is for Moodle, four is F-O-R, and the T, stands for teachers. So actually, uh, the website is called Moodle for Teachers. Okay, that's the Moodle website where you'll be learning uh, Moodle skills. Okay, so there are two ideas here. One idea is to learn about yourself. That's from the live presentations. And the other one is to learn to Moodle. Okay, uh, next you're going to enroll in the beginner or non-beginners course on the Moodle for Teachers Moodle site. Okay, Moodle is just an installation on a website, on a domain. Now, you're going to get ongoing support, of course, in lots of places. Okay, first of all, on the WizIQ course, in the course feed, and I shared the link for those um, just a second. The link is just there. Um, and then you're also going to get support in the beginner or non-beginners course on the Moodle for Teachers. In addition, you'll get support on the Google Drive syllabus. Okay, so take a look at the syllabus. Those of you who are who've just come in now, uh, let me share that with you. Uh, here's the syllabus. I see a lot of people there. Here's the syllabus. And that's where everything is. So if you get lost, there's the syllabus. It should uh, help you out. 
about the speakers, um, you'll find the list of speakers and the live online classes on WizIQ. Okay, you'll find them under the courseware and you'll be able to conduct discussions before and after the live classes in the course feed. You'll also be able to discuss everything in the Moodle for Teachers and of course on the syllabus. The invited speakers, okay, so I don't know if you've heard of any of these. How many of you, give me a thumbs up if you've heard of Cheryl Newsom, Newsbaum Beach. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you've heard of uh, Cheryl. She's from the United States. She's currently doing her doctorate. If not, you'll hear about her. She's, she's brilliant. Yes, she is. She's well known. Um, she does a lot of professional development uh, workshops in the United States, and she's going to be speaking, I believe, on October Fifth. I think she's going to be our first. Yes, she is definitely going to be our first speaker. Okay, so that's on October 5th. Uh, Dr. Ludmilla Smirnova is going to be speaking on October 6th. Ludmilla is also a transpersonal development teacher. That's how she teaches uh, from the inside out. She's a very passionate teacher in the United States at a university. May May Fox. Uh, how many of you have heard of May May Fox? Give me a thumbs up there if you've heard of uh, May May Fox. She writes, uh, she has a blog on Huffington, Huffington actually, Huffington, sorry, a uh, blog. And there's Benjamin Stewart, who's also a doctoral uh, student. He's in, he was involved and maybe a bit still involved in Wiki Educator. Uh, right now, he's got his own um, teacher's community that he uh, he's very passionate about sharing and then there's Dr. Dean Radden as I said he was one of the uh, leaders and speakers at the uh, what the bleep down the uh, rabbit hole okay, in 2006 it was quite a, a movie Hollywood movie and um, you'll hear about his latest book called super normal super normal okay and that's what you're going to be once you hear uh <laughs> dean speak you're going to be super normal that means you're going to have a lot of yes a lot of great things happening he's a uh, he's involved in quantum uh physics i don't know if you've heard of uh, quantum physics he's very well known You'll find him on um, YouTube as well. His movie, the full movie, is right there on YouTube if you're interested in the movie. Uh, it's there. So how many of you have heard of Dean? Dean Radden, if you've heard of him, uh, put your thumbs up there. You have. All right, I'll try to get the YouTube video uh, for you. It's called What the Blip And uh, you can get the full two hour, I believe it's two hours. Um, here is one, there are two versions. One is a good version, one is a not as good. If you like to see things in HD, one is HD, the other one is not. But here's one, one of them, uh, What the Blip. I think you'll find it interesting. It'll get you into the mood of the Moodlemook. Our theme, as I said, is transpersonal. And uh, you may say, well, Nelly, how are you combining the two? Well, it's possible. Combining Moodle teaching online and transpersonal development. Okay, so there it is. In addition, um, we've got Dr. Rachel Sale, who's going to be, uh, by the way, Dean is presenting on the 12th of um, October. Uh, Dr. Sale, like the, the day, 13th of October, so she chose she wanted that date. So uh, Dr. Rachel Sale is also involved in technology and she's going to be speaking about her experiences. Dr. Helene Marshall, also from the United States, will be bringing in a colleague. She teaches blended learning 
and she'll be speaking about that. And then we've got Cheryl Lentz, who will be talking about leadership and also leading from within. Uh, she's a leader. She's presented a few times, and she's also going to be presenting at the next Moodle MOOC, as well as at the uh, Connecting Online for 2014. We've got Ebba, who's from Sweden. Uh, she just finished her doctoral uh, studies. She's a doctor. And Stephen Downs, of course. Stephen Downs, I'm sure everybody knows Stephen Downs. He's one of the co-founders. He started the MOOC. He's one of the guys that get, said MOOC. He gave the name MOOC, okay, Massive Open Online Courses. And he also developed, along with uh, George Siemens, they developed the idea of connectivism. He's a researcher and he's a great presenter. So uh, Stephen Downs is very busy in October. By the way, a lot of these people are really busy in October, but they wouldn't pass up uh, presenting at the uh, Moodle MOOC number two on WizIQ. So I'm really glad uh, to have them. So that's Stephen Downs. Nancy Zingrone is a psychologist and she's involved in parapsychology. And she's going to be talking about why she went online to teach uh, parapsychology. I don't know if you're familiar. Are you familiar with parapsychology? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you're familiar. I'm glad you are, William, because these people are really busy. I mean, D and, and they're doing everything, you should know this, on a volunteer basis. Nobody's getting paid. Uh, so. Uh, this is all on a vol. Hello, Maria, on a voluntary basis. Okay, so parapsychology is involved in transpersonal uh, development. So yes, Nancy is going to speak about how she went online because uh, that was the only way to uh, share information about parapsychology. And then, of course, Dr. Rama Sharma, who's very involved in open education and the open education movement, the OER, Open Education Resources, and he's also going to be presenting. He's from India. So you can see we've got a few countries, a few uh, countries here. We've got uh, Mexico, United States, Canada, Sweden, and India. Okay, that's uh, as global as we could get. Now you're invited to also present if you're interested in presenting at the next Moodle MOOC which is going to be in February. We're having three MOOCs, Moodle MOOCs a year. So February 2014 will be the date for the next one after this one. So three MOOCs a year, one in June, one in October every year, and one in February. So if you're interested, Feel free to, uh, or if you know somebody who'd like to present, that would be great. All right, any questions so far? Who is a lovely chap? You're talking about Ramesh. Uh, William, I'm not sure, because all these people are really, really special. Okay, if there aren't any questions, I am going to share something with you. A little uh, surprise. Ramesh. Ah, yes. Ramesh is amazing. That's right. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Wait a minute before I do that. I want to share something else with you. I want to give you a chance to look at the words and... Okay, so just a sec. Okay, here are the words to the song that you're going to hear. I hope you can see them. I hope they're large enough. And, uh, and here is the song that you're going to hear. Okay, let me just uh, make it larger. No, but if I make it larger, you won't be able to see the words. All right, so let me see if I can do this. 
Let's see if this can work for us. So we can just hear it. You don't need to see anything. You can just put the uh, the player, just minimize it. All right, everybody, let me see you put your hands. together if when you learn you're entertained and when you're entertained you learn you know what i'm saying <laughs> m double o to the d l e f to the o to the o to the c we're in the mood oh mood in whiz iq as a crew we pursue renew and review everywhere we share and compare points of view in whiz iq there's so much we can do we're open source as a group we pack force the loop is all we are we are near and far we align to learn we yearn to connect our intellects intersect reflect then inject much love into our projects with mutual respect there's no limit to our prospects we yearn to connect our intellects intersect reflect then inject much love into our projects with mutual respect there's no limit to our prospects we're in the mood of move in whiz iq as a crew we pursue renew and review everywhere we share and compare points of view in whiz iq there's so much we can do we're in the mood oh move in whiz iq as a crew we pursue renew and review everywhere we share and compare points of view in whiz iq there's so much we can do for a massive class to have class and be a blast that has to surpass this other class of flukes they call moves don't conceal the real deals the seal we got socially engage on the world stage okay that was jason arlazine now i just want to say that jason arlazine wrote the words and if you look carefully at the words they are transformational do it with me now the words are awesome the music was also developed by jason everything and this was developed uh jason's not here with us right now but this was developed for the first Moodle MOOC, and I thought that it was just awesome. In addition to, to Jake the o, to the writing D, the words, L, e, music, M, to the, the o, first to the Moodle o, MOOC the C, on WizIQ, there's another one that I'd like to share with you, and this was from the team at WizIQ. And uh, let's see if I can just get it here, because I think that I'm having problems. All right, here it is. Um, did I have, oh, I didn't add it. Oh, I thought I had. Well, there is a Moodle MOOC song that was created by the team at WizIQ. I don't know if any of you have heard it, but um, I can get it for you. It's also um, on the course. So if you go to the course where, remember the course where? In the course where, that's where you get all the tutorials. So if you go into the course, and then you go into, I'm just going to take you there um, by words so that you know where it is. So I go into the courseware, I click on the courseware, and then I scroll down and you should be able to get a video. Okay, I'm going to take the link to the video. Okay, it's a YouTube video and um, I was very impressed. I asked the team at WizIQ, I said, can you do something as a team? And uh, they were kind of shocked because I didn't give them much time, uh, which is uh, my way. I, I like to throw people into the water and then teach them how to swim after they're in. Um, okay, so here it is. I'm going to share it with you. Wait, let me just make it larger here so that you get a nice view of it. And here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. All 
and education, it's all about collaboration. Books came on bright at time, but they soon turned broke. People couldn't decide whether to love them or hate them. All in education, it's all about collaboration. It's the Moodle MOOC. Books came on bright and sunny, but they soon turned broke. People couldn't decide whether to love them or hate them. IQ, it's so easy, and WizIQ really does all they can to make the process very, very easy. So, what are you going to do? Okay, and that's the next question. Uh, each one of you will be able to get a certificate, and we've got some beautiful certificates certificate of participation, but it's not enough to uh, participate since it's active learning you're going to be uh, doing and the doing is reflecting you're going to be reflecting on the presentation that means that you have to either come to the live classes and or watch the recordings okay so you'll be watching the recordings and reflecting and that's part of the uh, transpersonal development. Reflecting on what we learn is so important. But by reflecting, I don't know if any of you have practiced reflecting, but reflecting not only involves sharing your ideas and feelings, but it also involves describing. Okay, so you describe what you saw, and then you go into how you feel about it. All right, so that's it. Are there any questions that you'd like to ask right now? If not, you can always ask if you forget or if there's a question that you wanted to ask and couldn't, you can ask in the courseware on WizIQ, sorry, course feed. Okay, course feed is where you'll be able to have discussions and ask questions as we go. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Maria. Maria, you came in a bit late, so I'm not sure whether you got the transpersonal uh, development part, but you'll be able to uh, listen to this recording. This recording is not part of it, okay? This does not count. 
Uh, the first uh, presentation will take place on October 5th, okay, on the 5th of October by Cheryl Nussbaum Beach. Okay, she's going to start the first uh, presentation. But in the meantime, you're invited to join the MOOC, I mean, join the Moodle of the MOOC. And again, uh, let me share the, uh, the two okay, uh, links with you. First of all, the uh, course link you'll find, and everything else you'll find in the syllabus. Okay, everything is in the syllabus, so feel free to um, use it. That's what it's for. Okay, everything is there. Everything about how you can get um, there, I think that's it. Um, there it is. Okay. Everything is there in the syllabus. You'll find out exactly what you need in order to get a certificate of participation. The certificates will be available through the Moodle website. And they're already there. They're ready for you. You just have to uh, watch the live presentations or view the recording. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining. I'm looking forward to facilitating your Moodle experiences. If you lost sound, it's not on my end. I can see that everything is uh, working just fine. So thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. This will be added to YouTube. Your names will not appear. By the way, if you'd like, you can copy the chat. Does everybody see copy chat? Let me know so that you can get a chance to do it. Um, copy chat. Do you see it? Copy chat. Oh, I see the voice is going down. Copy chat. Copy, copy. Okay, I see the voice. Okay, the voice is back. All right. Copy chat. Okay, so um, take a look at copy chat. Copy it and take it with you. And again, go into the syllabus where you have everything, including this introduction. Okay, the PowerPoint tutorial is there as well. And invite your friends so that you can learn together. Bye for now and thank you so much. As I said, this will go on YouTube and your name will not appear and the chat will not appear because I excluded it from the Camtasia recording. Bye-bye.